Here's a little problem that's very common. Is people running a Veritronic, Casatronic, uh, Vespatronic, Palmer kit, Ignition, all those use the same four pole stator. The problem is they're supposed to put out 90 watts of power. Um, the reality is they put out 90 watts if your bike's revving really hard. But when it's going slowly, it doesn't put out very much power at all. So what happens if you have a SIP digital speedo is the speedo basically cuts out and it resets itself as you as you as you ride. Right, I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration of what happens when you start it up. The light will come on because it's got a very low voltage, but it actually has got a sweep function when it wakes up. And what you'll see is that when it rests on tick over, it has to restart when you rev it. So it's constantly going on and off, on and off not actually recording your mileage and just going out when it's ticking over and it's a pain really so this is I'll show you this how this works So depending on what you have running, you know, what voltage you've got, there's not a lot of power coming out of a stator plate on a Veritronic or a Vespatronic. So you're going to constantly have this resetting effect. And a solution we're going to attempt to use to try and solve this problem is this little box here, which is from Anthony Tams, um, Scootronics, and he calls it his IntelliConverter. And what it actually is, is two inputs for AC, that can be quite low power and an output red and black and the output is a 12 volt regulated supply the cleverer thing about his IntelliConverter is this will put out 12 volts when there's less than 12 volts AC coming in now I've got this yellow wire here plumbed into the main output wire from the stator plate um, which goes to the regulator so on this one it's the yellow and white wire on this Veritronic. Um, it powers the yellow wire going in and also goes up to the regulator into the loom. Then the other yellow wire from the bottom of the input on the IntelliConverter is going to earth on the back. There's a bolt that this holds onto the strut with. So I've got the two output wires here which are pretty obvious what they do. Red is positive, 12 volt regulated. Um, and black is earth. I've connected them to these, uh, this speaker wire that I've run all the way through with the white stripe side being the equivalent of the red. And it comes up to the headset. So here I've got the stripe side going to red on my multimeter and black and we'll run the bike up. <laughs> So in terms of wiring now, the SIP box has got the three wires that are input. So red was supposed to be DC, input positive, 12 volts, black is supposed to be earth, and brown is your AC input that it uses to count the RPM signal. Now I've got uh, the AC coming in here on this grey wire into the brown, and the black, we've got it running to the black wire out of the IntelliConverter and this red wire here is the wire with the stripe on it which is connected to the red of the IntelliConverter so basically I've got positive and negative coming straight into the black and red here straight from the IntelliConverter and as you've seen when the engine's running it's making 12.5 volts straight a tick over so can now we're going to give this bike a go now we know that there's 12 volts coming out of that it should be hit better <laughs> Are 
top marks, Anthony Tams. That works. Well done, mate. Obviously, the main idea of the IntelliConverter is not to run a SIP speedo, but you can use this 12 volt output to power any low powered device like charging a phone or running a sat nav. Um, he's about to make an upgraded version of the IntelliConverter which features two USB sockets in it. So you're going to be able to um, charge straight from this unit, um, which you can put anywhere. Basically, take an AC feed somewhere from your um, lights output straight into there other yellow wire to earth and then you've got a clean DC that even when it's got less than 12 volts go, coming, coming into it puts out a very steady 12 volts output which is a bit more capable than the primitive mod charger that a lot of people use which only works when the engine's running at high revs what we have now is this magic box here 